four-man panel, and uh, and here we are. Man, look at this, all together at the same time. Boss Rutten, Butterbean, and Sean Ray. This is a beautiful thing. Hey, guys. Hi, y'all. Morning. What's up? So, guys, we're going to be on live every Wednesday, and there's all these different time zones. Being, I'm like you, man. I can never figure out what time it is where I live because everyone goes by Pacific time and by Eastern time. So, yeah. well, I live by Central, so now I'm not from Alabama, so y'all got to make sure you let me know what time. Exactly. I, hey, I'm in Hawaii, man, so I'm right there with you. It's uh, it's 7 a.m. here right now, but um, we'll be on every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pacific time, 10 p.m. Eastern time, which being is 4 p.m. for me, I think, and 10 p.m. for you, but I'll have to double check that. That's fine. But, That's close uh, <laughs> all right, cool. And uh, hey, boss, what are we what are we going to be doing on this show? We're just going to talk about life. Uh, that's what we're going to do, Rick. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, we, we, when we're going to have guests, well, we're going to all interview them. And since we all come from different backgrounds, I think it could be very interesting, the questions that we formulate to that guest and see what he does. But I believe the first episode, we're going to just introduce ourselves, having a great time, talking about life and positive vibes. This is very important. So we're going to stay away from politics, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Rick is frozen. Yeah, you got a frozen face, uh, Rick. I would say go go, go to, to, to Sean. Sean, yeah. what, gonna, what can we expect from you? Well, I'm here to add the color, boss, as you can see clearly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in, in more ways than one. <laughs> in more ways than one. Again, we come from such different backgrounds, right? So it's good to have people from different uh, backgrounds. You're from the Netherlands and the MMA. Uh, Eric is from the, the boxing uh, world. And of course, I come from the bodybuilding world. Uh, we've all kind of, we survived our careers and now we can kind of share our experiences with other people. Not only what we did as athletes, but also as men going through life and traveling through the world and how we interact with different uh, cultures, different nationalities. And, uh, you know, real life experiences beyond the ring, beyond the arena. So real talk. I like that. Yeah. And guys, you know, you know what I love about what we all talked about because for everybody out there, the four of us, along with our producers, uh, Rachel, who's not seen here, John, who's not seen here, we've done a lot of work to prepare for this. And there was one thing nobody wanted to talk about or two things really, but the main one was politics. And I really appreciate that guys. I mean, right yeah. away, everybody said no politics. Because we have, there, there's so much good in this world, also, or can be, and I think we all, we all have our side of the political spectrum, and that's all I'll say about it. Um, but I think we all believe there's like so much that we can do to, to not only entertain, but maybe just giving ourselves a little bit of credit here, but I think also inspire. Because all of you guys have been through some serious SHIT in your lives, and you've come out the other side of it. And I love hearing your stories. And I think everybody else out there will too. I really believe it'll provide like some real hope and inspiration. Well, it, it, I think it's easy to, to get a lot of stuff lost in the start uh, getting into politics and religion because it's so individual, it's so personal, so very personal that it can cloud sometimes uh, the achievements and some of the camaraderie and the brotherhood that goes along with what it is we do. I mean, listen, MMA, boxing, and bodybuilding are all very individual sports. They're very personal but we're thrown in this thing together the commonality of it is we, we you can't get there you can't fake your way to the top i mean in mma you got to beat the shit out of the guy and you got to go beat the shit out of the next guy same with boxing in bodybuilding is a little different you put on the little posing trunks and it's kind of an art show but there's a there's some uh, rhyme and reason to it and at, at the end of the day we got to find a way to get along and communicate and and that common ground is the journey the journey is what I think people want to hear about uh, because it's so, so different the way we wind up where we did and the, the challenges that we face that the politics and religion can cloud that. So, yeah, I mean, it really, those, there's no place for it in, in sports in general because it, it doesn't really affect what we do. Exactly. And you, Eric? Hey, I want to, uh, I want to say bonjour to Xavier <laughs> there in France. That's pretty cool. And boss, you got a front on from Netherlands right there. Eric, give me your two cents on this. Do you have yeah, Go ahead, Bean. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think it's going to be great. I mean, that's getting to talk about basically life, what we're doing now. 
uh, what we got coming up, what we've already done in the past to get to the point we're at now. And I think it's a lot of people want to know about that. Yeah. How do you do use your sport, what you received as a gift, so to say, to, to do it now, right? Because now we can do it and we, we can pass it on, but we can also do different things. And, and that's the fun part because I did a lot of different things and I'm still doing. Well, same here. Same here. And like I said, I'd like to learn more about everybody. And, you know, we're not all the we've, – we've known each other. We've run into each other here and there. But we're going to learn more about each other doing this together also, which seems like a lot of fun to me. Yeah, we can – And, guys, lot. look, if you, if you look on the bottom of the screen there, it shows everywhere that who's ever watching can watch the show on – Boss, on your Facebook. John, on your Facebook, when, when it's back up, which I know is imminent. Yeah. Butterbean, the new TikTok sensation – I'm going to watch this show on your TikTok. I'm sorry, Rick. You're going to be able to watch it live on my TikTok for the first month or so. So I'm going to do live from TikTok our, our whole thing. I'm going to film it on my tablet so people can watch. Nice. All right. That's beautiful. Well, guys, hey, man, I, I, I really appreciate this group. It's, this is amazing. Couldn't be more excited about this. And uh, we are two days away from, uh, from live time. So everybody out there, prepare uh, – to be entertained, I hope, and uh, with any luck, to uh, be inspired as well. Exactly. That's what we're going to do. Inspired! So <laughs> signing off now for uh, Talking Tough. We'll see you all in uh, in two days. Oh, Sue. Godspeed, everybody. Bye, guys. <laughs>